In this step, we're going to analyze the trends over time using Google Trends. Go ahead and click the Google Trends link up top to get started. Google Trends will open up in a new tab here. Go back to your workbook in the first tab, single click on your first topic, and then Command C or Control C to copy it. Go back to the Google Trends tab, paste in your keyword, and select the first option it gives you if there's a, an autocorrect there. I recommend changing the region to the region that you would like to target with whatever content you create. So if you're targeting people worldwide, you can leave it set to worldwide. Otherwise, you can set it to your country. In my case, I'll set it to the United States. After selecting the region, the next thing we want to do is make sure our time range is set to the past 12 months. It is, so we're good to go there. Next, we want to find the score for the lowest moment of interest over the last year. The highest moment is almost always 100, and the lowest moment here, as you can see on the chart, is 29. Remembering the number 29, let's go back to our workbook and enter the score 29 for the one-year low. Next, we want to find the five-year low. So again, let's go back to the Google Trends page. And now let's change our time range from past 12 months to the past five years. This is a little harder to take a look at because there's a lot more movement, but it seems to me that the lowest moment is right here in November of 2024 with a score of 12. So let's go back to our worksheet and enter 12 in for our score. The final piece of information we need for this topic is the five-year trend direction. And if you click the dropdown, you can see there are five options. Here are the five major trend types you'll encounter as you do your research. The first type is upward. These start generally low on the left and end high. This is a really clear example of that. Next, you have downward trends. They start high and end low. You can see here it starts around the 100 mark and ends close to the 17 territory. This is a sideways flat chart. And while it's not literally flat, there is some movement to it. It's mostly flat with no major spikes. The highest that any chart can be is 100. And half of 100 in terms of search volume is 50. This has a lowest score of 57, which means there's not a big range there in trend volume. So it's pretty consistent throughout this five-year period. Another sideways type of trend is sideways cyclical. This is where there's a repeating regular up and down pattern or just a clear recurring pattern. Here you can see this is the search for gardening, which spikes every spring and then declines after that. And lastly, we have sideways random spikes. This is when there are dramatic spikes in search volume, but there's no clear recurring pattern. It's just generally going sideways and occasionally spiking pretty dramatically. As you do your research, you might find pretty clear examples of these, or you might also find charts that don't really fall neatly into any of these clear trend patterns. That's okay, just select the pattern that's closest to what you found. Let's go back to the Google Trends tab and see which one this is. To me, this clearly looks like a downward trend where the highest moment of interest was early in the chart five years ago. And then the lowest moment of interest is within the last year. So let's go ahead and mark this as a downward trend. Go through and follow this process for all of your topics to get a trend score for each of them. Once you've gathered your data from Google Trends, each topic on your sheet will have a topic trend score. This gives you a quick snapshot of how healthy or promising each trend is. Green scores highlight hot niche opportunities. These topics are either growing, stable, or show strong potential. Yellow scores mean the niche is still viable, but might need more strategic marketing or targeting. Red scores indicate topics that are either declining or just too unstable to rely on. For affiliate marketing, we're looking for topics that are stable or growing. Those are the ones that are most likely to bring in consistent traffic over time. So now that we've got a sense of trend health, let's move on to the second part of our three-part scoring system, search traffic opportunity. 